I think we were all a bit surprised to find performance issues cropping back up with the full release of Monster Hunter Wilds, especially considering that the beta ran pretty flawlessly. I stuck everything on Ultra, had no issues, it was constantly running above 70 FPS even without frame generation. But with the full release, I've had issues and I know a lot of other people have too. For example, I was experiencing some choppiness, a lot of stuttering, and that was especially, especially true in cutscenes and when I reached the hub. When I finally got to the hub, I went from an average of like 60, 70, 80 FPS and it dropped all the way down to 40. Now I did manage to fix this and I wanted to share the way that I went about it, especially considering there are a million different options to tune and it's hard to know what affects what and what actually helps what doesn't, even with the game telling you what items will best improve GPU performance. Obviously the specific changes depends on the strength of your rig, but when I was having performance issues, here's what I did. I dropped ray tracing down to medium, even though that really doesn't have an effect on somewhere like the desert. And then I went to the next tab and surprisingly left things like surface quality, render distance, and all of that alone. I did drop the sky quality down to medium because let's be honest, I really don't need the highest, highest quality and it says it has a decent impact. I also dropped the ambient light quality to medium, the ambient occlusion to medium, and the distant shadow quality to low. Once I did this and backed out, back to the main menu, came back, let everything reload, my frames improved from about 40 to 45 up to 70, 75. That's a pretty big improvement. And honestly, that was a good enough fix. But the thing is, when I went back in to test, and record the actual footage for this video, my performance seemed relatively fine. One thing to note though, is if you do turn on high quality textures, the ones that you have to download that are an extra like 60 gigs, those will tank your performance pretty heavily, like 20 FPS, just keep that in mind. But with those off, I was still getting pretty good performance. So I went back in and started turning things up one by one. Turn back on the ambient inclusion. Turn back on the ambient light quality. Turn back on the distance shadow quality. And guess what? The performance really didn't suffer. Honestly, overall, I think there's just a lot of things that they need to optimize still. This isn't a fix all because clearly I can run everything on ultra sometimes, but not all the time. And when my performance does tank, it's nice to know exactly which things I need to turn down just to give it a little help to make sure the game runs smoothly because there's nothing worse in a fast paced game like this, like choppy gameplay, that's laggy, that's stuttery, etc. So hopefully if you're having issues, those options helped. They helped me, even if I was able to turn them back on, but those are what I saw the most success with because I was trying settings for a good 15, 20 minutes, just trying to figure out which one is causing all these issues. I reset all the graphics to very low, to medium, to high, and I couldn't seem to figure out what was causing the stuttering. But those three or four specific changes seem to help. So hopefully they can help you too. They may not solve all your problems, but hey, if this video can help two people, I'd be happy.